Okay, here we go. No device. So we'll plug in the new photon. And you'll see that there's now a particle photon here. So first thing we're going to do is register the device. We're going to put the photon in DFU mode, uh, which we do by holding both buttons down and then releasing the reset, waiting for a yellow flash, and then releasing the other button. Uh, now we're in DFU mode, and we should be able to select that from here. So it sees the device in DFU. And then the next step is we push the Z button to register. So we're going to register. It's downloading some code. So now we've successfully registered. We can now virtualize it. All right. All right. So now we're going to put it back into DFU mode. Again, push both, release the reset, wait for the yellow flash, and we're back in DFU. And it's already selected itself up here, DFU, so now we're going to push the Z button again. And we're going to create a new virtual machine. This is the one, create. <coughs> Hit virtualize. This is the version. So I'm going to virtualize it. It's downloading some more code to the flash. And then we're done. <clears throat> so now you see the photon flashing red and then going out. That's normal. Uh, so now we should have a uh, Python interpreter on that, on that photon. So now we can go to our projects, and we're going to select uh, a blanket project. And this is the, what it looks like. It's just a simple Python program to blink the red LED on and off every second. And I think we need to choose our virtual device. It's a particle photon. So we'll set that. Okay, so to upload the code, so now uh, since we have our Python program, we're going to upload that. So we make sure that the particle photon, the physical device, is through the USB, is the target. And then we're going to click the uplink button. Now, when we click this uplink button, uh, we need to insert a reset onto the photon itself. And you'll get a dialog box when that comes up. And when it comes up, just hit it as quickly as you can. So I'm going to position my finger over the reset button, this button here. And we're going to do an uplink. So it'll compile it. And then we get the dialog, so we reset it. And now it's going to attempt to connect and upload the Python program. Okay, it's erasing the flash, it's uploading the code, and it's done. And now you'll see that the red light is blinking on our photon. So we've uploaded successfully a Python program to a particle photon after configuring the device. So now what we'll do is we'll disconnect, remove our photon, and I have a slightly larger insert it into this breadboard. I'm going to plug in the USB, and it should now continue to blink again because of its stored program. And 
there we go. And that's the Python program linking the red LED now. So now back to here, we're going to choose a different project to upload. And uh, I chose this other breadboard because I have a servo already attached to it. And we have the signal wire going to the correct port. In this case, it's D3 on the photon. So we're going to go up here to back to our projects and do the servo test. And we're going to look at that project. So that project you can see is uh, a servo. I'm using some servo commands, Python, and we're using D3 uh, as the pin to drive the servo. And what we're going to do is uh, sleep for three seconds, move it to zero, sleep for a second, move it to 180, sleep for a second, move it to 90, sleep for three seconds, and then just loop through that. So we just do the same thing that we did before. We're going to uplink, uplink this program. When you do the uplink, you're going to catch the reset. Just reset it. And now you'll see the attempt down here to connect to it, to upload the Python program. So it's erasing the flash, and it's uploading, and it's done. And now you can see the program up executing, sweeping the servo through the three positions, waiting six seconds and then doing it again. So that's it.